Sometimes it seems like we've heard every wild story out there, doesn't it? Yet every now and then, a new batch of tales pops up that makes us do a double take. So let's get into 10 incredible stories where carjackers underestimated who they were dealing with. These accounts are so surprising, they're bound to shock you. 10. Carjackers mess with an off-duty officer. Back in 2018, Chicago was the scene of something straight out of an action-packed movie, except it was all too real. Two guys, all dressed in hoodies and dark gear, were out looking for trouble. They set their sights on a fancy BMW parked outside a barbershop. Not knowing the man inside was no regular guy, but an off-duty cop with the means to defend himself. Caught on CCTV, the drama kicked off when these two hopeful carjackers sized up the BMW and then made their bold move. One jumped into the passenger side and the other hurried to take the driver's seat. But the story took a sudden turn. The cop, ready for action, got out of the car, leading to a wild shootout. Totally taken by surprise, the carjackers tried to flee, one even firing back as they made a hasty retreat, stumbling and rushing to get away. The cop didn't let them go without a chase. He followed them until they disappeared in another car, blending back into the city. This scene, right outside a barber shop, where life is usually more about casual talk and haircuts, turning it momentarily into a dramatic scene. Corey Felton, the shop owner, mentioned hearing about 10, 12 loud sounds. Keith Harris, another onlooker, couldn't believe what happened, especially so early at around 8.45 a.m. It was like a sudden war zone, with windows breaking and car doors getting hit. Harris nailed it, saying these guys definitely messed with the wrong person at the wrong time. Despite the intense action and danger, nobody was hurt. The bad guys got away, leaving only the CCTV footage behind for the cops to work with, turning this incident into a real-life action story without any serious injuries. But just think, what if the guy they tried to carjack wasn't an off-duty cop? These carjackers boldly stepped up in broad daylight, and things could have ended up much worse, maybe even with someone getting hurt. Hopefully they've learned not to pull such stunts again. I mean, if I were in that situation, I'd probably be in total panic just seeing someone treat my car like it was theirs, especially if they were up to no good. 9. Red Chrysler 300 appearing suddenly with a wrong motive. Heading over to Albuquerque, New Mexico, there's this tale from late December 2016 that you wouldn't believe if it wasn't caught on camera. This whole thing played out on the city streets late at night and got recorded by a dash cam. A driver who remains unnamed was helping a friend too scared to go to a store in a rough part of town alone. Things turned wild when a red Chrysler 300, looking quite sporty, suddenly cut in front, stopping sharply in front of our driver's car. This kicked off a crazy chase, with our driver quickly shifting into reverse, trying to escape as the red car chased him. The atmosphere was tense, filled with the kind of adrenaline you feel in intense moments. The attackers in the red car weren't holding back. They were throwing stuff and flashing their headlights, adding to the threat. Our driver, in a bid to escape, was pushing his driving limits, even running red lights to shake them off. Then, out of nowhere, a police car appeared. Our driver, thinking fast, honked his horn to get the police's attention. This sparked a glimmer of hope, but the drama was far from over. The Red Chrysler, realizing the police were onto them, made a quick escape, disappearing with the police eventually losing track. After everything calmed down, the driver talked about how the police praised him for his driving during such a tense situation. He was told he did the right thing by not trying to confront the attackers. Incredibly, through all this high-speed tension, his car was still in perfect shape. So, in a city full of stories, this chase ended with the mysterious red Chrysler and its driver fading into the night, leaving a tale of quick thinking and survival in Albuquerque's quiet hours. But honestly, scenes like this, where a car suddenly cuts you off, seem straight out of a movie. You've got to wonder how long they were following him before deciding to make their move. And really, if it weren't for the driver's sharp actions and the timely arrival of the police, things could have gone south fast. It's a reminder for all of us, stay alert while driving, and if something feels off, better to be cautious and smart about it. 8. Messed with the wrong truck driver. In Chile, there's this intense story that's been all over the internet, all captured on a dash cam. So here's what went down. 
A guy's driving his pickup truck on a highway ramp. Just a normal day, right? But then, things get crazy fast. A Citroen C5 Aircross, a fancy French car, stops out of the blue right before the highway. The pickup guy, feeling something's not right, stays back, alert and ready. Then, boom, the Citroen's doors swing open and three people jump out, heading straight for the pickup with a scary vibe. One of them even pulls out what looks like a weapon, pointing it right at the pickup driver. Caught in this crazy moment, the pickup driver has to make a quick choice, back up or face them. He decides to go for it, revving up his truck, ready to break free. What happens next is just wild. He drives right at the Citroen, pushing it out of the way. The carjackers, surprised by his bold move, realize they've messed up, thinking they could easily trap him. The pickup driver, with some gutsy driving and maybe a bit of luck, manages to push the Citroen aside, the dashcam catching every second of this escape. After this ordeal, the video blows up online and helps the police figure out what went down. And here's the kicker. The Citroen, the unexpected focus of this drama, turns out to be stolen, recognized by its real owner from the video. So this story from Chile becomes a wild mix of bravery, crime, and surprising twists, showing just how unpredictable things can get when it comes to city crime and quick decisions. That driver proved he was ready for anything, especially considering it happened on a narrow bridge. I know if I were in his shoes, I'd be scrambling just to figure out what was happening. What we learn here is the importance of putting safety first, something the pickup driver did brilliantly, making sure he was his first responder in that tight spot. 7. Attack on an Uber One hot August night in 2022, Washington, D.C. turned into the scene of a wild car theft story with a lot of twists. On 3rd Street SE, an Uber driver was just trying to pick up a customer when suddenly four sneaky folks showed up wanting to steal his car a Toyota Highlander. The situation got really tense when one of the thieves, showing a threatening object, told the driver to leave his car. The driver, thinking quickly to save himself, stepped on the gas to get away. But in the confusion, things went sideways. One of the would-be thieves made a clumsy move and ended up hurting one of their own. The police got to the bottom of this messy story using clues from the place like shell pieces and a weapon, and caught a hurt young guy at the hospital. This young person, caught up in the failed theft, got slapped with serious accusations like armed car theft and having illegal stuff. As the cops dug into the incident, they figured out that four people were involved. Two of them used weapons, and they found a suspicious object in the car, painting a clear image of the crime. Uber, after this crazy event, checked in on the scared driver and cut off the customer who asked for the ride that ended up in this mess. In this city, where danger popped up out of nowhere on a normal night, this story of a theft gone wrong really made an impact, reminding everyone of how suddenly things can turn dangerous. I mean, the Uber driver was just doing his job, and these guys thought it was okay to try and jack his ride, even threatening him. It's just wild how cruel some people can be, thinking they had any right to target an Uber driver. But karma caught up with them real quick. 6. Car thief had to bail on his plan because he couldn't drive a manual car. In the quiet suburbs of Montgomery County, Maryland, there was a car theft attempt that turned out to be quite the story. This happened in a Safeway parking lot on Thayer Avenue. Here's a classic case where things didn't go as expected. A guy, let's call him a clumsy thief, with just a weapon and a not-so-great plan, ran into a local named John. He wanted John's car keys. John, looking at the threatening situation and having his son with him, handed over the keys, thinking of his son's safety first. Now, here's where things go sideways. The thief jumped into the driver's seat, all set to flee, but then he hit a metaphorical wall. It wasn't about the car's structure, but its gearbox. The car was a stick shift. John, seeing the thief's confusion, pointed out the tricky part about the gear. The thief, totally thrown off, cursed, gave up the theft and ran off, leaving John and his car perfectly fine. The police were on the hunt for this guy, described as in his 20s, not too tall, slim, last seen in a dark jacket, dark pants, and a black mask. This odd event turned into a local legend, more funny than scary, about a car thief who was stopped cold by a manual transmission. 
John was surely relieved his car wasn't stolen, maybe too shaken up by his son's presence to react much at the time. But life had a funny way of dealing with the situation, showing sometimes having a manual car can be unexpectedly handy. 5. Mom and her kids faced a carjacking that didn't go as the thief planned. In Hialeah, Florida, there's this gas station where something pretty intense happened. A mum was there, just filling up her car, when she and her kids suddenly found themselves in a tricky situation. This mum, though, was not about to let herself be an easy mark. The gas station had security cameras that caught everything. Two guys looking for trouble ran through the parking lot and decided they wanted her car. But this mum wasn't having it. She got herself and her kids safe inside the car fast, ruining the bad guy's first plan. But the story gets even more intense. The guys tried to mess with another car, but the mum wasn't done. She jumped out, grabbed one of them, and pulled off his mask, showing she wasn't scared at all. Carl Zogby from the Hialeah Police talked about how this mum went all out protecting her kids, even pulling one of the would-be thieves out of her car, which made them run off pretty quick. Then, as the story goes, these guys tried to get away, leading to a crazy car chase with the police that ended with their car hitting a fence. This was after a local cop who didn't know what had just happened at the gas station spotted them. In the end, they caught the three people involved, Juan Carlos Gonzalez, Nicolas Rosado, and Rebecca Utria, and charged them with trying to steal cars and running from the cops. They each got a bail set at $25,000 and were told to stay away from the woman they tried to scare. This whole thing in Hialeah showed how brave a mom can be and how quickly things can go from a normal day to a full-on police action. It just goes to show you don't mess with moms, especially when their kids are involved. This isn't just a human thing, it's seen in the animal kingdom too, where a mom will face danger head-on to protect her young. Big respect to all the brave moms out there, and especially to this one for her guts in such a risky situation. 4. Kayaker gets run over and dragged In September 2022, Dearborn Heights, Michigan, experienced a shocking incident early one Sunday morning. At around 5.30 a.m., a local resident got home and was suddenly confronted by two threatening individuals. One of these guys tried to take his truck and rob him. Panicked, the resident slammed his truck in reverse to escape, accidentally pulling one assailant along with him. The police used surveillance videos to figure out what happened. They saw that the man dragged by the truck was seriously injured and ended up in the hospital in critical condition. Meanwhile, his partner in crime made aggressive gestures at the truck as it sped away. But thankfully, no one was hit. This scary event highlighted a growing problem in the area with car-related crimes. Dearborn Heights Police noted an increase in these incidents with vehicle break-ins and thefts on the rise. Police Commissioner Joseph Thomas spoke about this trend, emphasizing that such crimes were becoming more frequent, especially at night. He urged everyone to lock up their cars and stay alert, mentioning a day when there were five break-ins. LaShonda Miles, living nearby, left for work just before this all happened. She came back to see police and evidence of the night's events right on her lawn, realizing she just missed being part of it. She was shocked by how bold these criminals were, acting so openly early in the morning, but was grateful that no one in the neighborhood got hurt. This incident in Dearborn Heights really shines a light on the ongoing issue of urban crime and the need for everyone to be more careful and proactive about their safety, especially regarding their vehicles. Three. Mother Protects Kids from Carjacker In June 2013, Dorothy Baker from Baytown, Texas, had a day that flipped her usual life on its head. After a trip to CVS with her kids, she found an unexpected danger waiting in her van. Ismael Martinez had hidden himself there. Right when Dorothy and her children got into the van, Martinez showed up, holding a weapon and demanding a ride to an ATM. Dorothy, however, wasn't one to get scared easily. She fought Martinez bravely. Her husband, Charles Flugens, shared how she got a cut on her chest, managed to take the weapon from Martinez, and even got bitten on the hand during the struggle. Thinking quickly, Dorothy drove her van into a telephone pole, hoping to throw Martinez off balance or stop him. She also called 911 in the midst of the chaos, trying to get the police to come help. Dorothy's main thought was to keep her kids safe, she hoped the crash would throw Martinez, who wasn't wearing a seatbelt, off guard. 
so she could get the upper hand. When Martinez tried to run away, he ended up getting run over by Dorothy. She said she didn't mean to run him over, she was just trying to stop him from posing any more danger. Martinez was taken to the hospital with serious injuries and later faced hefty legal consequences. Dorothy became a hero in Baytown, celebrated for her brave actions. People like Joyce Sparks admired her, saying Dorothy showed the fierce protection a parent has for their children. Once everything calmed down, Dorothy felt relieved and stood firm in her actions, sending a clear message to Martinez and anyone else who might think of threatening her family. She was absolutely the wrong person to mess with, especially when her children were involved. Like I've mentioned earlier, tangling with a mom who's protecting her kids is like poking a sleeping bear. I mean, nobody wants to stir up trouble with a hitman, right? Just a bit of humor there, but you get the point. You really don't want to mess with a mom who's angry about someone threatening her kids. Two. Karate instructors took it personally. In Oakland, California, a city facing a rising number of car thefts, an incredible display of bravery turned two karate instructors into local legends. The event was caught on a business's security camera, showing a moment of true courage in the city. The incident began like any other day, with a man approaching his Jaguar. But peace was quickly disrupted when two individuals, their faces hidden by the hoods of their sweatshirts, approached threateningly. They jumped out, one holding something that looked dangerous, creating a tense moment. The car owner stepped back to the sidewalk while these two troublemakers grabbed his keys, eyeing his expensive car. However, the situation took an unexpected turn, thanks to the alertness of two karate instructors nearby. These instructors, not just ordinary onlookers, grabbed sticks, using them not just for defense, but also as a sign of their courage. They ran across the street and started hitting the windows of the thieves' escape vehicle, a daring action that threw the carjackers into confusion. This sudden counterattack filled the thieves with confusion and fear, making them rush back to their damaged car and leave the place they tried to control. The brave actions of these karate instructors stopped the crime from happening and showed the power of quick, community-based action. In a city where law enforcement is overstretched, this incident reminds everyone of the powerful role residents can play in keeping their neighborhood safe. I mean, it kind of makes me want to protect my community too, maybe even take up some karate to fend off the bad guys, just kidding around. But seriously, don't you think we need more people like this around? One. Carjacking on the rise in Philadelphia. In the cold city environment of Philadelphia, January 2022 showed a tough side of city life, with a clear example of survival challenges on the streets. The city had been facing more car thefts, especially in Mount Airy on Cherokee Street. There, a 60-year-old driver was about to lose his car to two young people trying to steal it, one showing a weapon. In a moment of intense pressure, the driver, who had a weapon legally, defended himself. This confrontation ended with a 16-year-old thief seriously hurt. The police found him later in a stolen car, his injuries a silent witness to the night's clash, showing the extreme steps people are taking in response to the rising car theft crisis. This wasn't a one-time event. Philadelphia had seen similar things before, like a case with a Lyft driver who also defended himself during an attempted car theft, resulting in the thieves getting hurt. These events sketch a dark picture of a city where people often have to protect themselves from increasing violence. The city's police, with Commissioner Danielle Outlaw, noted a 34% increase in car thefts, highlighting a major concern for everyone's safety. The fact that more people are feeling forced to defend themselves points to a larger conversation about the right to protect oneself in a city facing too much violence. In this tough urban setting, where threats can appear anywhere, the people of Philadelphia find themselves having to be very cautious, walking a fine line between feeling exposed and staying alert. But honestly, no place in the world is completely safe. Each has its own challenges. Yet, when something like car theft or overall security gets worse than usual, it's smart to be more aware of your surroundings and to speak up about anything that seems off. We've just looked at some amazing stories where carjackers definitely regretted their choices. These tales were full of suspense, weren't they? 
I'm really curious to know what you think about these nail-biting situations. Go ahead and drop your views in the comments. Let's chat about these incredible real-life events.